Hey everyone, for today's look, I'm going to be showing you this really easy glitter cut crease rose gold smoky eye. So let's get started. For this look, I wanted to have blue eyes, but brown eyes also suit it really well. So I have in my Solotica lenses in crystal. Then as my primer today, I'm using the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum. For foundation, I'm taking Macquillage Dramatic Film Liquid UV in the lightest shade, which I will admit is maybe one tone to like for my current skin tone but that's okay then taking sigma's 3d kabuki brush i'm just using that to, to blend it out and as you can see it's really satisfying pulling that foundation down with this brush oh my god it's so smooth next i'm going to cover up my dark circles with my nars creamy concealer in chantilly Then going in with the same brush and just blending it outwards. Then taking my Innisfree Contouring Palette, I'm taking the contour shade and on my Etude House brush, I am just using that to slim down my jawline and add a little bit more color back into my face and pulling the excess down onto my neck lightly. Then whatever is left over, I'm using to lightly contour the sides of my nose. Then I'm just going to create more of a upward nose by applying it to the top and then taking my Pony Effect Highlighting Stick, I'm just using that on the top of my cheekbones and then putting a little bit onto my nose as well. Then going back in with that brush, I'm just softening out the edges. Then moving on to my eyebrows, I am taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe. And I'm just filling in the sparse areas of my brows and extending the tail a little bit more. Then I'm going to create hairs right at the front of my eyebrow to kind of give it a longer look. Then buff it out with this spoolie at the end. Then going in with my favorite eyebrow mascara by Excel, I am just using that to balance out the color of my brow hairs. I also use this in the color Light Ash Brown if anyone is wondering. All the products will be linked in the description box below, so check that out. Then going in with my L'Oreal palette, I am taking this somewhat taupey yet mauve shade, and I'm using that right in the crease with a dense small shadow brush and just applying that in a straight line. Then taking more and starting at the inner corner and pulling that color all the way to the outer edge. Then going into my Innisfree Custom Palette, I'm taking this really dusty rose shade and using that on a small travel size Sigma blending brush. I'm just using that to play as my transition shade between my crease and my brow bone. Then I'm going to take this concealer to make my cut crease more cut and defined and just using that as an eyeshadow base with a very flat synthetic brush. Then going into this other Innisfree palette, I am just setting that concealer with this light kind of cream shade that is matte. Then taking this Sigma Loose Shimmer Color and with a slightly damp eyeliner brush, I'm just using that to go over that cut crease area. You can use a actual really pigmented glitter eyeliner if you have one, but I don't have one, so I'm just kind of makeshifting my own. Then going in with my Etude House Tear Eyeliner in, I think it's shade number three. I'm using that to go over that Sigma one I previously applied just to give the cut crease more oomph. As you can see, this combo kind of gave it a really nice rose gold shimmery effect that's really opaque. Then I'm just using my hand to dry that before I open my eye all the way. Then going in with Etude House's Styling Eyeliner in the brown shade, I'm using that to tight line my waterline and also using it to create a very soft smoked out wing along my lash line, pulling that color all the way into the inner corner as well. Then going in with a clean eyeliner brush, I'm just lightly blending that outwards and pulling that liner to match the cut crease width. 
pulling whatever is left over down onto the outer portion of the lower lash line. Then taking this Innisfree color and a very flat and thin shadow brush, I am just using that to go over the eyeliner I just applied. This is kind of setting that color and also giving more of a deeper smoky effect. Just following right along my lower lash line and as well as my upper lash line. Then going in with my Majolica Majorca Lash Curler, I'm just curling my lashes real quickly. Then next I'm going in with these Falsies by DUP, which will be linked in the description box down below. They are just really natural Demi Wispies. Then going in with this Innisfree Skinny Micro Cara Mascara, I'm using that only on the lower lashes. As you can see, it makes them really long and natural looking. And going in with my favorite Lash King Mascara by Majolica Majorca, I'm using that only on my upper lashes. This mascara has a ton of fibers in it, so it is really good if you want very voluminous, fluffy lashes. Next, taking my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, I'm just quickly highlighting my inner corner and brow bone. Then taking Sigma's Heavenly Blusher, I'm using that all over my cheeks. Then going in with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector again to highlight my cheekbones right over top of that pony highlighter I previously applied in the beginning. And taking a Jeffree Star's lipstick, I applied that. Then I took Espoir's Brow Kit and quickly contoured the tip of my nose again. Then going in with the Pony Effect Contouring Kit, I'm just going over that contour I did before. And then applying it to my neck as well. And that's it. That is how you get this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!